So, about a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I thought to myself, I'm going to get a vlogging camera, right? So, I got the G7, the Panasonic G7, and I thought to myself, that's going to last me a good few years. I like it. It's a nice camera. Not too, uh, about a week later, I got the GH5, and I am returning my G7, because I don't, obviously don't need two vlogging cameras uh, of the same style, at least. So I'm returning that, and uh, now I got the GH5, obviously, with the 15mm Leica lens, and I just want more. I want more. I want it all. I want every single camera there is. I want every single lens there is. I want everything. So I'm pretty much selling all my shoes that I got. <laughs> I mean, all the shoes that I don't really wear, and I'm selling them all. Uh, I used to collect shoes. I had like 15 pairs at one point. And uh, I had Yeezys, I had a few uh, good Ultra Boosts. Uh, so I sold two pairs of Yeezys. I just, I'm selling one pair of uh, the Chinese New Year Ultra Boosts. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing all that to feed my addiction of cameras and lenses. Because my next lens that I want to get is the 12-35 the f2.8. I think that's, I think that'll cover a perfect amount because like, this is a 15 millimeter, and if I hold that at arm's length, that's pretty much what is in frame, which is okay. It's not bad, but it's nowhere like you have to hold it out really far in front of your face, and that's not comfortable with the GH5 because that damn thing is huge. So I'm going to the UPS store right now to uh, take back the G7 to return the G7, and then sell my Ultra Boosts, and then next week I should get that lens. I'm not sure. But maybe. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to the UPS store right now and I'll update you guys on the way. So I just returned my stuff to UPS and while I was there, I was thinking about what is a good companion camera for the GH5. I was considering getting the Canon uh, G7X Mark II because uh, it's about $500 and it's tiny it's a little point and shoot but it's actually pretty it's cool it has a little selfie screen but then I thought to myself like wait I totally forgot that I have the GoPro Hero 6 and I can just use that as my secondary vlogging camera because it's wide enough to get all, everything in shot even in linear mode it's still pretty wide it does 4k 60 just like the GH5 does so that's perfect if you're gonna be editing in a 4k 60 timeline or even a 1080p 60 timeline because then you can uh, compress both those videos down uh, to remove noise and enhance color so that's actually pretty perfect I mean really if you have the GH5 or anything similar to that you can use your GoPro Hero 6 or even Hero 5 um, as a secondary vlogging camera like the only downside I guess is uh, the there's no audio jack obviously and the sound quality is pretty okay but most point and shoots are pretty much the similar sound quality so it's not like you're really missing on anything um but yeah i mean I, that's actually not that bad because even the battery on the hero 6 4k 60 is pretty damn good it lasts like you can easily vlog the entire day with it and be easily okay uh so the gh5 for me is pretty much we're play in places where it's comfortable enough to carry around and use and then uh, after that, I can just switch to my Hero 6 and use that instead of this big $2,000 setup. So, um, yeah, I mean, definitely worth it in my opinion. Thanks for running on Duncan. What can I get for you? Hello, could I get two uh, bacon wake up wraps? Two bacon wake up wraps? And what else can I get for you? Uh, that would actually be it. All right, Infora. Thank you. All right, so job well done. So my goal kind of is to do these kind of life vlogs. I don't really know how people do these because I can't imagine my life being that interesting that people will actually watch it, but it's worth a try. Let me know what you guys have started out with, what camera equipment you started out with, uh, what camera equipment you're using now, your favorite setup. I wanna know because chances are I'll probably buy it because I'm crazy on this stuff now. Should I start recording or should I start uh, uploading in 4K 60? Would that be something that's actually beneficial? I don't know. 
Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know your comments. Let me know your concerns. Let me know your questions. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll also leave my uh, my exact setup in the in the description. So check that out if you guys are interested in knowing what I, what exactly I'm using as a vlogging setup. And yeah, that's it. Take care.